10. Rachel Napier 29-year-old Rachel Napier was expecting a typical girls' night when she went to a Botox party at her friend's house in Leicester, England. After injecting some Botox into Rachel's forehead, the attending beautician noticed that the woman had a lump on her lip. It was from an injury she received as a teen, and it was a major source of insecurity for Rachel. So when the beautician suggested lip filler, she readily agreed. What she didn't realize is that the beautician was an unlicensed ex-con, and she accidentally injected the filler into an artery. Rachel woke up later that night and couldn't feel her lips. They had swollen so big that her top lip touched her nose. She went to the emergency room where she was told that the country's healthcare system didn't cover the treatment she needed. The disfigured young woman had to shell out money to see a private doctor who dissolved the filler. Within three days of visiting the doctor, Rachel's lips were thankfully back to normal. But the close call inspired her to call for strengthened laws to regulate dermal filler treatments in the UK. 9. Carissa Rajpa Plastic surgery is a lucrative business. Because it's so expensive, many people shop around for the best deal possible. And there are plenty of unlicensed crooks out there who are willing to put people's lives on the line by performing DIY treatments for a quick buck. In late 2019, 26-year-old aspiring social media star Carissa Raj Paul began a series of butt lift procedures at the Encino, California home of mother-daughter duo Libby Adame and Alicia Gomez. The pair allegedly pretended to be specialists and injected Raj Paul's rear end with cosmetic substances that were mixed with dangerous chemicals. Carissa died after her third session, and police charged Adame and Gomez with first-degree murder. The tragedy sparked an ongoing investigation, and authorities believe there may be more victims out there, including several who were disfigured and possibly one who died. Sadly, there are an alarming number of cases of people dying from illegal butt injections. Earlier this year, 49-year-old Natika Deontay Lee of Dallas, Texas was sentenced to five years in prison for involuntary manslaughter for her role in a young woman's death. Back in 2015, Lee injected liquid silicone into a nightclub dancer's derriere. The substance seeped into the victim's blood and she died four days later. These needless tragedies are reminders of how important it is to do your research and make sure you're going to someone who's qualified to enhance your assets. 8. Kirill Tereshin Many people think of plastic surgery as something for women, but men get it too, and they are no more or less immune to its ill effects than anyone else. Kirill Tereshin was a soldier in the Russian military. He wanted to bulk up his arm, so he injected his biceps and triceps with 3.2 quarts, 3 liters of petroleum jelly. His biceps grew to 24 inches, 61 centimeters around. The substance saturated the man's tissues and muscles and blocked his blood flow, causing hardened scar tissue to form. Tereshin, whose gargantuan limbs have earned him the nickname Popeye, must have realized that his arms were unnaturally huge, or at least that something wasn't right. He consulted a surgeon who told him that he faced either amputation or death if he didn't undergo surgery to remove the petroleum jelly. By then, he had a fever and was weak and in pain. He started the process in 2019 and is still receiving surgeries. In addition to going through medical hell, Tereshin has experienced a host of other misfortunes because of his poor decision. His girlfriend left him, and since injecting his arms with a dangerous substance didn't make him any stronger, his dream of being a successful MMA fighter isn't going very well. Surgeon Dmitry Milkanov told The Sun that it's becoming alarmingly common for people in Russia to inject petroleum jelly as an alternative to shelling out big bucks for approved cosmetic procedures. But petroleum jelly is meant for external use only and wrecks havoc on the body. 
especially the kidneys. 7. Terrible Tummy Tuck The popular reality TV series Botched follows the stories of people who emerged from plastic surgery looking much worse than they went in. Doctors Terry Dubrow and Paul Nasif do their best to work miracles and undo the damage of less skilled surgeons. The show is in its seventh season. It recently featured a 49-year-old woman named Maritza, whose tummy tucks have destroyed both her body and her marriage. Maritza got her first tummy tuck in 2019, not very long ago, and it left her with what she calls a franken belly. While she was healing, her skin kept turning black. This was because the surgeon she saw had performed liposuction before doing the tummy tuck, which Dr. Dubrow says depletes the blood supply and stops the body from healing. Doctors kept having to cut Maritza's skin off, and she eventually needed a skin graft. It left her without a belly button. Creating a belly button is one of the most difficult things to do in plastic surgery, according to Dubrow. In order to even perform the procedure, he had Maritza sign a special consent form acknowledging that she understood the heightened risk that come along with it. Thankfully, the surgery went just fine. Maritza can stand to look at her midsection in the mirror again, and she feels like a new person. But it's not lost on her that things could have gone much worse. Would you ever get a tummy tuck, or have you? Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. 6. Nikki Belza one day in 2016, a Las Vegas cocktail waitress named Nikki Belza woke up with tenderness in her left breast. At first, she thought she pulled a muscle, but she kept feeling worse and worse and collapsed at her job. Nikki was rushed to the emergency room where she later said doctors wrote off her concerns and sent her home with some painkillers. Things continued to worsen from there. Nikki developed a fever and soon learned she was in septic shock. Doctors told her that she had a 50% chance of dying if she didn't agree to have her left breast removed. Knowing the infection had spread to her blood and could soon infiltrate her other organs, she underwent the life-saving procedure. Nikki lived without a left breast for months while she recovered. But it's hard for a cocktail waitress to do their job in this condition, especially in Vegas, where appearance is everything. Once she got through her agonizing post-septus symptoms, including graying hair, shakiness, a weak immune system, and the inability to regulate her own body temperature, Nikki underwent several reconstructive surgeries to fix her lopsided chest. 5. Carol Bryan When she was in her 30s, a Florida woman named Carol Bryan began getting Botox injections to minimize some fine lines on her face. At age 47, she visited a clinic she'd never been to before. The staff talked her into trying dermal fillers, which add volume to someone's face in areas that are thinning due to age. After the procedure, Carol's forehead swelled up every few days but shrunk back down to its normal size. Then a few months later, Carol's forehead swelled and this time it didn't stop growing. She returned to the clinic where dissolving agents were injected to bring the swelling down. While there, Carol learned that silicone had somehow ended up in the syringe that was used for her filler injections. Silicone is never used for facial procedures. The clinic promised to fix the woman's face free of charge with regular appointments, and Carol obliged. But her face only became more disfigured. The dissolving agent was eating away at Carol's muscles and tissue. Her skin began to sag and her forehead filled with pus. She quit her job, became a shut-in, stopped letting friends and family come over to visit, and even thought about taking her own life. Carol lived as a recluse for years until her daughter, Sophia, couldn't take seeing her mom like this anymore and reached out to teaching hospitals in a desperate plea for help. Renowned plastic surgeon Brian Boyd took her case, and he was eventually able to repair a lot of the damage. Carol's road to recovery has been long and painful, both physically and emotionally. She's now blind in one eye and may never look like she did before the botched procedure. But she's using her story to help others through her job as the director of Face to Face Healing, 
a nonprofit that raises awareness about disfigurement. 4. Louise Smith When the world went into lockdown at the beginning of the ongoing global COVID-19 pandemic, people began joking about the weight they were gaining from their newfound sedentary lifestyle. Dubbed the Quarantine 15, these pesky few extra pounds were a mere inconvenience to most people. But the Quarantine 15 took a major toll on some people's self-esteem. One of those people was Louise Smith, a 37-year-old British hairdresser who had recently moved to Dubai for a fresh start after a breakup. Her friend said that she became obsessed with her image after gaining some weight during lockdown. She became so desperate to get her pre-pandemic figure back that she traveled to Iran for weight loss surgery. But something went horribly wrong during the procedure, and Louise died. The details were obscure, and her loved ones were left in the dark about the circumstances as they struggled to get Louise's body back to the UK. Iran is a popular place for low-cost plastic surgery, but this tragedy proves that these unbeatable deals can clearly come at a cost far greater than any amount of money. 3. Kuana Weaver Earlier this year, 38-year-old Kuana Weaver and her friend Daly Lisha Smith traveled to Mexico for tummy tucks. The Long Beach, California native expected an in-and-out four-hour procedure, but she died on the operating table. Smith barely survived and spent two weeks in the hospital. Weaver's grief-stricken family did some digging and found out that the person who performed Kuwana's tummy tuck is not a licensed plastic surgeon. They also learned that a third woman fell gravely ill at the same clinic on the same day. She was rushed to the emergency room with septic shock and now suffers from kidney failure. An autopsy found that Kuwana died from blood clotting issues and a heart attack. The clinic the women went to never pronounced Weaver dead or reported the tragedy to the U.S. Embassy. Then the business deleted its webpage. But Kuana's mother is determined not to let crooked practitioners get away with their actions. Since her daughter's death, she has devoted her time and effort to raising awareness about the dangers of medical tourism, which is becoming increasingly popular among Americans seeking low-cost alternatives to plastic surgery in the U.S. The FBI is investigating the clinic, and it's hopefully only a matter of time before the business is forced to answer for its actions. 2. Vincenzo Zurlo 36-year-old Vincenzo Zurlo first started going to Alcalira Jimenez de Rodriguez for Botox last year after meeting the Doral, Florida resident through a friend. A few months into his treatments, he asked Jimenez de Rodriguez about the possibility of getting a nose job. She agreed to do it for just $2,000, thousands less than the going rate for a rhinoplasty in the U.S. The self-proclaimed practitioner sent Zerlo home with prescriptions for painkillers under a doctor's name that he didn't recognize, which immediately raised flags. Over the following months, he realized that the surgery meant to make his nose look better had left him disfigured. Zerlo went to the police, who sent an undercover to Jimenez de Rodriguez for a plastic surgery consultation and decided there was enough evidence to criminally charge her. When officers went to the woman's office to arrest her, they found her in the middle of performing an illegal procedure on another victim. Perhaps the most shocking aspect of the ordeal is that Jimenez de Rodriguez wasn't doing surgeries out of her home, which would have been an obvious red flag that she wasn't qualified. She was working at an established clinic posing as a doctor. The good news is that there's one less phony surgeon operating on people trying to improve their looks. But for Zerlo, the damage is done. Speaking with NBC Miami, he summarized the nightmare in one simple but heartbreaking statement. She ruined my life. 1. Anastasia Bailinskaya Botched plastic surgeries can physically harm or even kill people. And they also come with other consequences, especially for people whose income depends on their looks. This was the case for Anastasia Bailinskaya, a Russian reality star from Belarus whose nose was left rotting from the inside after a rhinoplasty gone wrong. 
She opened up to her 159,000 Instagram followers about her suffering a few years after the procedure. By then, Anastasia's nose had deteriorated to the point where doctors said she had just weeks to save it before it decayed completely. The young woman had already spent lots of time and money trying to remedy the disfigurement to no avail, and she couldn't afford any more treatments. In a last-minute race against the clock, Anastasia pleaded with her fans for donations to help her get her nose fixed. Something similar happened to a famous Chinese singer and actress named Gao Lu, who disappeared from the limelight without explanation last year. Little did her 5 million followers know she had gotten a nose job and it caused the tissue in the tip of her nose to die. Miss Gao eventually shared her story, revealing photos of her blackened nose and explaining that she was hospitalized for two months. The damage was so bad she would need more surgery, but she had to wait at least a year for some of the corrective work she had done to heal. In the meantime, Gao lost over $61,000 in wages because she couldn't work. The clinic that performed the operation had already been disciplined several times. Had Gao known about this, she might not have gone there. Her career-damaging debacle helped raise awareness about how widespread the problem of botched plastic surgery is, with many of Gao's fans demanding heightened accountability and stricter regulations in the industry. Thanks for watching. What's the worst plastic surgery you've ever seen or a story you've heard? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.